Hi everyone, so this video is going to be a hand tutorial or at least how I draw hands. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests to do a tutorial about drawing hands and I was kind of hesitant to do this because I'm not that confident with drawing hands but I thought I would just kind of share the tips that help me draw hands. I'm definitely not an expert, these are just the, the things that kind of helped me grasp the concept of drawing hands a little bit better. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of break down the hand into the sections that I like to to think about it in. So to the palm of the hand, and this is just like a hand facing outwards, which is kind of curved down like this at the top, and then it kind of comes down, and you have um, this part where your thumb attaches to. And the thing that helps me the most when I'm drawing hands is to look up my own hand for reference, um, or look up pictures online of hands. Um, really, like hands are just so complicated, so looking at pictures just really helps, so definitely would recommend that. So here's the part where the thumb comes out. You have your thumb, and these are where the fingers come out. And let's just say all the fingers are together. I just like to kind of draw it like this. And then of course the arm comes down. It's slightly thinner than the palm. And the thing that I like to remember about the fingers is that the middle finger is the longest, and then the index finger is kind of the same length as the ring finger, and then you have the pinky. And then they all kind of meet down here, and the palm kind of comes out a bit over here goes back in and the thumb would probably stick out more. Let's redraw that. And then another part of the hand is this part here because that moves around a lot too. So I'm gonna just draw the thumb in here. The thumb I sometimes find really difficult to draw. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make that um, a little more transparent and kind of show some, some details of the hand. And this, I'm gonna keep in these two parts here it's like this part of the thumb and this opposite of the thumb. Those two parts are kind of important when you're drawing poses of the hand. So something that really helped me with drawing hands is drawing the actual bends in the fingers because I used to, to not really draw the bends in the fingers that well. Like I would kind of eliminate too many details. And um, as I practice hands more and more, I realized like the more details you show, the more it looks like a hand. So the hands are broken up into three sections. If you look at your own hand, down here um, they all kind of point out like this. The part where they meet with, with the palm of the hand right there, they kind of go out to the side and it kind of goes down on an arc like this. This is just a hand facing forward, plain simple hand. And I find it easiest to draw it when all the fingers are touching each other. It's just easier. But obviously hands are, aren't, are usually not in this pose. And I actually find it easier to draw hands in a pose than just a plain hand. So each finger has little joints. They join here, they have one in the middle, and the, the middle finger ones are actually a bit higher. I'm just looking at my own hand for reference, which is what I would recommend, definitely. And then the thumb, the thumb is interesting because I like to think of it in two parts, or maybe even three. So like the part that, that it joins the hand, which is that, and then the part where it joins with the end of the thumb, and the end of the thumb curves like this, but then it's kind of flat on the other side because the nail's there, and that is way too long. <laughs> so it kind of curves on one side and it's kind of flat on the other side. And then of course there's parts here. Each finger kind of, there's kind of like this band along here of like, I don't know, this one here is like kind of the biggest, and that kind of plays a part in certain um, poses, but they're kind of like, like softer, more, bulging kind of part of the hand where the finger meets with the palm of the hand and then there's like lines on the hand but I don't really draw those usually and I guess the thing about the thumb I was trying to say is like the end of it kind of curves like this it's a lot flatter than you than you realize it's more flat it kind of it's curved here it's kind of flat on the other side and then it kind of joins with the hand and then it's this big like bulge there and this is the palm of the hand I'm gonna talk through common poses. So let's say you have your character like this and their arm is kind of out and you need like a pose for the hands when they're sticking out like that. Um, here's something you can do. So let's say their hand is kind of kind of out to the side. So I would draw the palm like this. I'm just looking at my own hand for reference. Let's make that bigger actually. 
I'm gonna do a tiny sketch of it just so you can tell what I'm about to do. The thumb is like this. The fingers kind of go like that and the arm comes down, if this makes sense. So that's like the little sketch. So what I would do is kind of start off with this little triangular shape. And this is where the arm joins in. And you see this side of the thumb and the thumb kind of comes out of it and it joins back up but this is where the first the index finger is and this is where these parts of the fingers kind of come into play because I do like to emphasize those I almost break the finger into two joints instead of three just the way that I that I simplify it so this finger would have that and then it joins in no that should be higher so this is kind of the palm of the hand here this line that line so this finger comes out like this this finger comes out there, this one comes out there. Sometimes it's easy to easier to draw little lines. So here's this finger. And all the fingers are kind of spread out like this, as if the person is like reaching for something. And I'm just gonna highlight the details on a separate layer. Let's zoom in. Okay, so you have your thumb. And it kind of comes, let's make this darker. The knuckles kind of here. And to draw nails, I just like to draw the bottom of the nail, like this part down here. And I don't necessarily draw the top of it, but if it's of course a female hand with like long nails or any hand with long nails, then you'd make the nail longer. And this part of the hand that I was talking about before, where is it? This part? This part is kind of noticeable with this pose because you can kind of see it kind of overlaps the fingers almost, especially the pinky one. So you'd actually draw that line in and then draw the pinky finger coming out. And the bottoms of the fingers here would kind of puff out like this to show that which way the finger's facing because they're kind of almost pointing towards the ground, but not quite. And make sure you make the ends of the fingers round because they're not, they're not points like this. You can add a point for a nail like this, but the finger itself is very round. And there's like little sections here, here, here. But I kind of, I don't draw those lines, I just make sure that you can see the bumps in the finger. Because that's what really helps kind of make it look like a hand. Because whenever I would draw hands, they would just never look like hands. And I thought I would never be able to draw hands, but the more I practiced, the better I got. And now I can actually sort of draw things that kind of look like hands and I know this is pretty rough but and actually the fingers are like well okay let's say that the thumb is too small <laughs> the fingers might be too long on that one I think the fingers are probably too long compared to the palm of the hand so another really common hand pose is um, if your character is standing and their arms are at their sides, then the hand is doing something at the side. And it took me a while to figure this one out, so I hope I can do this okay. Okay, so basically the arm would come down and you have this sort of triangular shape. But the triangle would be kind of flat on the top of the hand and it would kind of be more round where the thumb is. So your thumb would come down here then your knuckles are here. Make sure you make the gap between your thumb, the thumb and the hand, large enough, because I tend to sometimes make that a bit too short. So for this one, it's kind of like a claw. I'm gonna show this finger here. Let's actually bend that a little bit. And then maybe just a hint of this one, but then you see the rest of it on the other side of this finger. And then you see another fingertip from another finger here and the pinky. So like I said with fingernails, like say this is the finger, I like to just draw kind of the bottom of it and just let the rest of it kind of speak for itself. So like your brain kind of fills the rest of that in. That's what I do with fingernails. And I tend to make the fingers a bit too thick sometimes too, so I need to remember to kind of make them a bit skinnier. So basically the biggest part of this hand is this little claw shape that's made. 
and this little triangular shape that joins with the arm because that's your thumb and that's your finger and that's your hand. I'm gonna try to do this again. So that's a hand at rest. Let's do a fist of a hand, but like the back of the hand. So you have your fist and I would recommend to like make a fist and look at your, like whatever hand you don't draw with, use that hand to pose for this. So you have your palm of your hand. Try to notice the shape of it. So mine is kind of like this right now. And then your thumb, I kind of have my thumb very pressed into the side, so you don't really see much of the thumb. I can kind of see where it joins, so it kind of joins down there, and the nail comes up like that. And I don't really like to complete the nails all the time, because I just think it kind of makes it look too outlined, I don't know, but I just can't pull it off. And hands are all about movement too, so that's one thing I'm trying to get down a bit more is to give hands more movement. So try to like push the pose or like exaggerate it more. So try to focus on one part that is really noticeable about the pose and maybe make that part stick out more. Or like if there's an if there's an angle to the hand, like right here, maybe I would make it more like this so that there's more of a motion to it. The most important part about this one is the knuckles and how the knuckles connect to the fingers and like the shape of the knuckles. So when, when fingers are bent, the knuckles are kind of flat. So like right here, it's kind of like a flat knuckle. It comes out because there's like a fleshy part of the hand here that the thumb is pressing into and kind of flattening. Then it goes back in and comes out. And this is this part right here is where the thumb joins in. So I'm not gonna connect it to the hand. Um, I'm not gonna like go like that. I'm gonna leave it open because that's where the thumb is. And this finger here is like kind of wide because it's it's like the finger is curled and it's pushing against itself so it's like kind of pushing out the, the the fleshy skin part of the of the finger and it's making it wider and there's a little knuckle right here and then there's a bigger knuckle here and the finger you can barely see and this one there's a knuckle and another knuckle and it kind of you can't really see the pinky in my pose <laughs> Knuckles are very important for hands, which is something that I always forget about. Because just basically the more details you do, even if they're, they're small, subtle details, it makes it look more like a hand. Because the problem I have is drawing something and then it doesn't really look like a hand. And part of it could be because I'm staring at it for too long and it starts to not look like anything. Like this fist to me doesn't look that much like a hand, but the more I look at it, the less it looks like a hand. Explaining how to draw hands is kind of difficult because there's so many different poses you could possibly do because a hand, it's kind of like a body. It's like a tiny body because there's limbs on it and there's like joints and it's like very complicated. So it's kind of hard to describe. So now I'm gonna try to draw a hand like more of like a gesture kind of hand. So let's say you have like a finger gun hand. You wanna kind of analyze the motion that the hand has and the important parts that make the pose look like what it is and I don't know this can take some practice but basically for a finger gun it's like the, you have this like big opening and the, the fingers here and you have your fingers and whenever um the fingers are together I like to kind of draw them like a mitten first and then add the details later because if they're right beside each other you kind of want to group them as one part of the hand if they're all touching each other. And then you have your finger gun here, which would actually be in a bit more. I'm gonna just lower the opacity and then just like choose a couple more poses you could do this with. Like, like make your hand in some weird pose and then quickly try to capture the essence of that. And it might only make sense to you, like the way it looks, because I can tell what pose this is, but you might have no idea what I just did. And it's not perfect, definitely not perfect at all. So I hope these like little tips kind of helped you. Like this is kind of how I break down hands. I'll just kind of go over that one more time. So like the thumb is kind of has its own part here that it's curvy on one side and flat on the other. 
I like to keep this part of the hand in mind as well as this part because these two parts of the hand I find are really important to kind of get right in order for the pose of the hand to look convincing. And then make sure you draw the little joints in the fingers. You don't have to draw every single joint, but at least make, make the finger, if it bends, make sure that you show it bending um, and try to make try to remember that the palm of the hand, these kind of go in like this. This one's more a bit more flat actually. It's like flat here and they kind of bend down. And this part here is very fleshy and can affect the rest of the pose. And make sure you make the fingertips rounded, not pointy, not like this, <laughs> like this, because fingertips are round. And if fingers are from the side, it's round on one side and a little bit more flat on the other side. And I like to draw the nail in. I like to just draw the bottom of the nail and not necessarily connect it to the top, but it depends how long your character's nails are or how much you want to emphasize the nails. And um, the middle finger is the longest and the pointer finger is the same size as the ring finger and the pinky finger is very tiny. It's a very small. And it kind of sits lower on the palm of the hand. These are just the things that I keep in mind when I'm drawing hands and also look at photos. That is how I, if I'm stuck on a pose of a hand, I'll look up a photo and I'll try to take my time and go slow and plan out each section of the hand. Like, you don't have to draw in every single finger. If the fingers are together, just, just, um, just draw them as a mitten like this. And then you can always add in the details later. The most important part is planning out the structure first. So like using shapes to, to define how a pose would look. Like this one is kind of a triangle. This one is kind of a square. And then this little shape comes out because that's the thumb. And this is kind of like spread like a fan. And this is definitely a triangle right here. Triangular shape. So I hope these little tips helped you. Um, I'm not an expert, there's probably a lot better hand tutorials out there, but this is just how I do things. So I hope you learned something from this video and thanks for watching.